All right, it is time. This is an infinite investment game. I talk about alternative investments and collectibles. And today, I'm going to be talking about what you ex should expect from the Nationals. And I'm going to compare that to previous card shows and what people should be thinking about doing for the rest of the year when it comes to cards in general. Not just sports cards, but even Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, stuff like that. So, um, this is very important. So a lot of people know that the Dallas card show happened not too long ago. And at that card show, you had people, certain things they're trying to sell off, um, more so the higher pop stuff, um, pop 2000 or more. Um, and the other stuff where it was like a pop 50, 15, stuff like that, they're trying to keep and hold. And they're not trying to sell it at lower prices to lose money or even get their money back. They're trying to sell it for a higher price. Hopefully somebody who doesn't know what's going on in the market and make a profit in a sense, despite things go down or they're hoping things will turn around. You know, it's just a month or so and the car values are going to go up again. And it's just like a little dip and there's going to be a rally again. Or, you know, they're holding long term and, you know, five years from now it's gonna be it's gonna 10x or 10 years from now it's gonna 100x or something like that um when that's not gonna be the case um a lot of these people are holding ultra modern and modern and a lot of this stuff is very speculative um because of what they think they're gonna do in their career or right after their career and for the most part people don't care about what the person does after their career is really only their career unless it's like they become president or do something just like off the wall, crazy successful. Um, or something that just continue to maintain the public consciousness for a long term, if you're gonna hold long term. And I, I don't think that's gonna happen. So uh, for, for what you should expect for the national is that same thing as Dallas, where the lower pop stuff, people aren't gonna wanna sell. And most people are not going to want to sell. And it's not really that much fear. There's probably a little bit of fear. But I think people are kind of are almost in the mentality they're going to go down with the ship. Uh, especially for Luca stuff. Especially for uh, maybe Jason Tatum. For guys like that. Um, maybe Jimmy Butler they're going to be trying to sell and stuff like that. But the, the, the young guys who could be the future league. You know, the Giannis's. Um, they're going to hold. They're not going to be like, oh, the high end stuff. I'm not going to sell or, or higher mid tier stuff. They're not going to sell. So that's what you expect. And as people think, oh, it's a buying opportunity now. Um, not necessarily. I think it's kind of a trap because I think things are going to overall are going to dip even further. And I don't think you're going to have large gains for a while. And I think it's going to be years. Um, and I've said this before in multiple videos, but I think you know 2023 probably recession 2024 um just because multiple factors yes you have inflation yes you have rising interest rates where inflation gas prices stuff like that eating up people's expenses um united states is spending a lot of money um on wars around the world uh, especially in ukraine so you're gonna have an issue where um that money isn't going into businesses as much um it's really for military industrial complex to, to finance other endeavors um and then you're going to have a famine at the end of 2022. Um, it's going to affect most of the world. So you have a lot of foreign people, people from different countries who buy sports cars, not going to be buying anymore. Um, and just fear and pandemonium because of that. Um, you, you're going to have the interest rates taking money, is rising interest rates is basically taking money out of the system. Um, and it's going to have a, a double, a quite a quadruple effect of stocks, real estate, um, precious metals and other collectibles going down in price. Um, so people are going to be losing their butt on a bunch of other stuff. And then um, a lot of companies are probably going to go under um, and then layoffs, baby boomers are entering mass retirement. So that's a lot of money that's being put into the system that's going to be going from going into the system to being drawn out of the system. Um, and then you have maybe more conflicts and wars and more disruption of the um, the manufacturing chains. And that's part of the reason I'm going to do a video, part of the reason why Panini and is having so many issues. Um, 
and i think that's something that people aren't really thinking about so cars are going to decrease a lot more because it's more of a luxury kind of thing so it's going to go from when things are good uh things go from priority one two or three to priority maybe 20 maybe it could be 30 and i think people aren't paying attention to that um so six months car you know still is going to be fine because i don't think things are really hitting America is that bad. But I think with the election and stuff like that in 2024, just pandemonium because of that. And, um, and you know, more January 6th type scenarios, but could be worse. Uh, what happened January 6th was like the best case scenario. So I think these things um, could definitely happen. Um, and, and then you have other things with, with the market, um, maybe lockouts and things such as that especially for the nba coming up in the future i think all those things hurt the market but as far as for the national i think it's going to be pretty strong i think a lot of people are still going to be there people still want to get deals um even though traveling things are worth going to be worth a lot of money um i think it's still think a lot of people are going to show up they're liquidating much stuff so they can fly there um but i don't think it's going to be sustainable um, so I think a lot of people putting money into this stuff is a waste of money, um, to be honest with you. But we'll see. And I do think there's going to be an uptick in cars and things such as that. I, I also think um, people are going to be happy for soccer. I think people are going to be selling out football, maybe speculating about basketball. But I think soccer, people are going to be starting to look at. They're like, let me get some Mbappe. Let me get some Ronaldo. Let me get some Messi. Let me speculate on um, some of these young guys, you know, Erling Haaland, who else, who's going to win the World Cup, France, a bunch of French, play, French players, you know, a bunch of uh, England players, a bunch of, I guess, Polish players, because uh, Robert Lewandowski, Kevin De Bruyne of Germany, you know, guys like that. So, yeah, I think you know, the national is going to be fine and people are going to be there and you can flip stuff, but I think it's going to be hard. Um, but yeah, please let me know what you think. Please like comment, subscribe, and, um, I'll be giving you more videos.